and there is as we said at the top of the show, a growing memorial at the Carl Maxey Center as the community of Spokane is in mourning. Ten people died in that plane crash in the Puget Sound over the weekend. We now know one of the victims called Spokane home. This is Sandy Williams. She was the executive director of the Carl Maxey Center and a well-known community activist. People who knew her say she was a force for good. She stood up for others and she always fought for marginalized communities. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Kirsten O'Connor. And I'm Erin Luna. While the community is grieving her loss, people are thankful for the work she started. They say her legacy will live on. Esther Bauer is live at the Carl Maxey Center with how people are paying their respects. Esther. Well, this memorial just keeps growing. People started dropping off flowers earlier this morning. People are here right now paying their respects. She helped start this center, and it's a legacy that won't be forgotten. Her legacy is here, and it's not going to go away. That legacy is now memorialized by this growing table of flowers in full bloom at the community center Sandy Williams brought to life. She was unapologetic about uplifting the black community. She uplifted people at the Carl Maxey Center and started the Black Lens, the only African-American focused newspaper in Eastern Washington. She's just 10 years younger than me, but she was a mentor. Dean Lynch first met Sandy 30 years ago during a statewide human rights campaign. Their friendship grew as he watched her fight for justice. Sandy didn't need to put on a show. She was who she is. Who Sandy is will never be replaced. We have lost a visionary and a voice and that's a hole in our hearts that can't be filled. As this table is filled with flowers, there's hope on the horizon in the work Sandy did. Whenever we support the marginalized in our community, we are helping to support Sandy's legacy. And what the community can do to keep her legacy alive. I'm sad, but I'm hopeful. I know this isn't the end. And organizers have assured me the Carl Maxey Center isn't going anywhere. This resource is here to stay. While there are so many unknowns about this tragic crash, what is known is the impact Sandy left will not be forgotten. Reporting live in East Spokane tonight, Esther Bauer, 4 News Now.